All right, so we got everything ready to go here. We got our laptop set up, prepared. So first of all, we get our video connection out, AirTrack camera, and our hookup. AirTrack camera, it is made out of plastic. You gotta be careful, this part might snap off easily. This is the locking mechanism for the AirTrack. You unlock the air track out by pulling a little bit, be gentle or it'll break. Uh, this is the USB charging device. Uh, the camera doesn't work while it's charging, so make sure it's well charged. Video out here, power on, and the camera's right inside there. And the switch is on this side, so that's how you line it up. So, we got this patient already, nasal apneic oxygenation position, tube tied, ready. And we'll start off with the steps for the air track. So step one is to hook up the USB cable to your laptop. And ideally, Windows is running and not crashed. Next is you go to the uTuner software, start that up, hook up your video connection, the yellow to the yellow and hook up your AirTrack camera into the video feed. Turn it on to make sure it works, and it is. Close it to conserve batteries. Take your AirTrack size that you decide that you want. Take the sleeve off. Line the switch up with the switch hole here. Insert it in, snap it in place. Now it should be ready to go. Get your endotracheal tube with a syringe attached. Check the cuff, it's good. Lube up the cuff, lube up the bottom of the endotracheal tube. Insert it into the channel. Have the tip just right at the tip of the air track there. And you'll note that it will tend to push it out off to the left. And now we're ready to go. So turn the camera on, turn the air track on, and we can actually make our image much bigger. Actually make it the entire screen if we want. Okay, so turn the light on, I'm ready to go. Okay, a couple of details about the endotracheal tube within the air track channel. There is this bump at the very end of the air track, as mentioned previously. And what it does is it tends to push your tube delivery towards the left across your view screen here. So make sure you keep your tube back until you're ready for tube deployment, otherwise it narrows your field of view even more. And as you're ready to deliver the tube, adjust your air track position by either lifting up, twisting, tilting, in order to maneuver the tip into the, into the trachea itself. If the tip direction you're not able to advance in the trachea, what you can do is use a bougie, pass through the endotracheal tube, And as you can see, you can oftentimes twist it a little bit to help the direction of the tip maneuver into the glottis a little bit easier there. If your tube is deployed too far out, it will obscure your vision completely. You have to be careful not to pull the endotracheal tube back in because this can damage the balloon here. Especially if your tube has been deployed out, it will tend to catch right on this very sharp edge and damage it there. Instead, 
you gotta take it out and put another one back in there. A couple of things is that it is a very tight fit, so make sure the size matches correctly there, as well as make sure you lube the tip, and again, don't pull back once your balloon has been deployed out here.